Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus and in this video I am going to show you how to use this tablet for note taking and studies. So let's start. The first feature is about adding a web page into your notes. For example, I open this website. First of all, I will select this reader mode. It will show me the simplified version of the same website with the text and images only. Now I will use my S Pen button and I will tap on my screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here it is giving me the option of adding this website into my notes. I select this whole page option and then it will start adding this whole website into my notes. The next thing what I will do, I will open my notes in split screen. So I will select this blue bar from here and then I select this split screen. So it will open my notes here in this split screen. Now you can see the whole web page is added to my notes. So if you start scrolling from top, so here you can see we have the same images, same text. So for example, here is the next image. So same website is now available in my notes. Now I can uh, take it to the full screen and then if you want, you can start writing here. If you want to highlight something, you can also highlight. You can also add more pages just select this page sorter option and here it will show you all the pages for example I select this page and then after this page I want to add a new page just select these three dots and here is the option of add page just select it once you select it here it will show you different templates you can select any of the templates so here you can see a new page is now added after this page and here I can start taking my notes if I want to write something important if I want to create some shape I can also do it here. The next feature is about taking a screenshot and share it to your notes. For example, I want to take a screenshot. I will just select this air command icon and from here I select this screen right option. It will take the screenshot and then if you want you can also crop it and here is the share icon. Just select it and here you can select Samsung notes and here you can add to existing note or you can add to new note. So for example, I will add to new note. So it will add this screenshot here in my new note and here I can also edit it and then for example if I want to label it I can also do it here. The next feature is about dragging the image directly from your internet browser into your notes. So I will take out this edge panel and then I open the Samsung notes in split screen. Now I want this image into my notes and I want it without these labels. So I will press my S Pen button and I will tap on this image and here is the option of clip subject from background. Just select it and then it will only select the image part and you can use your S Pen and you can easily drag and drop it into your notes. So here you can see I drag this image into my notes without these labels. You can also draw neat shapes in your Samsung notes by just holding your S Pen like this and it will convert it into the neat shape. You can also use this highlighter as well. So for example, if I try to draw this circle and I will hold my S Pen like this, it will convert it into the neat shape. You can also use this shape tool as well. For example, if I want to draw this arrow, it will convert it into the neat shape. You can draw any kind of shape using this tool. You can also do voice recording for your lectures. Just select this attach icon, select voice recording and you can also start taking your notes. So once you finish with your recording, you can stop it from here. When you play back your recording, it will show you what you wrote in real time alongside the audio. You can also scan your documents inside the Samsung notes. Just select this attach icon, select scan and then it will automatically tidy up the scanning for you. So I will just press this yellow button and then here you can see it will tidy up the scanning and then I press done and then I will save it. Once you save it, it will automatically show in your notes and here you can do all your editing. You can also extract text from an image and share it to your notes as well. Just use your S Pen, press and hold it like this. It will open a menu, scroll down and select this extract text option. Now it will highlight all 
all the text that is available in the image. Now use your S Pen, just tap it like this and use this select all option and then select this share option. And from here you can select Samsung notes and you can add to existing note and here you can see all the text that I extract from the image is now available in my notes. You can also add text from a website into your notes. Use your S Pen, start highlighting the text. So I will highlight till here. Now it is giving me the option of add to note. Just select it and then it will add that text into your notes and on top it will also show you the link for that website. You can categorize your notes into folders and subfolders and you can use this search option to find out your notes. For example here I will write ultrasound so it will show me the result. So here it is showing me one result I will open it and here you can see it is showing me the handwritten notes as well. You can also use voice input method for note taking. Select this keyboard and then from here you can select this mic. Now whatever you say it will write it down for you and you can pause it from here. You can change the page color as well, select more options, select page settings. So here are different background colors options available. So you can select any color from here. Now if you want you can also change the page templates, select more options. Here is the page template option and from here you can select any page template. You can also add planner templates as well, select more options and then open page template. Here at the bottom you see this PDFs just select it. So here you have different planner templates available. So you can select any of these planners. For digital planning you can use Penly app and here we have this amazing planner. For example I select week 3 for the month of September. So here I can write down my schedule. I can write down my top priorities to do list as well. The next thing is you can also add web links to your your handwriting. For example, I will write here heart. Now I want to give a web link to this handwriting. I will use this selection tool and I will select this handwriting. Now I will select this group option and then here is the link icon. So I will just select it. Once you select it here you see this option of web link and then you have to enter your website. For example, I will write here can hub dot com okay so here i put my website now i press done and then i press ok now i will go back and then i open it again now if i select this handwriting it will show me the website so if i just select it like this here you can see it is saying you will be directed to kenhub.com i press ok and it will open the website for me you can also use apps like microsoft math solver so whatever i write here for example i write this equation it will convert it into the neat equation then I select this next option and then it will give me the solution for that equation so here are the solution steps now for example you want these solution steps into your notes you can use smart select option for example I open my notes then I use this air command option I will use this smart select tool and then I will start selecting this equation from Microsoft math solver so for example I select it and now I will use my S Pen and I can just drag and drop it into my notes. So here you can see if you want to focus on your studies you can use this study bunny app and here you can set a timer and you can start studying. This app will also show you your study progress. You can use tick tick app for these habit tracker widgets and you can also use these widgets directly from your home screen. So what you have to do press and hold on your home screen select these widgets. So just scroll down and here I will show you the tick tick app. So here is the tick tick app. Now just select this arrow and here you can see you have amazing habit tracker widgets available. So you can add these widgets to your home screen. You can use clip studio app for creating diagrams and then you can use these diagrams into your notes. You can also use Microsoft whiteboard which provides a free form intelligent canvas where you and 
and your friends can ideate and create visually via cloud. So here we have these amazing tools and we also have these amazing templates option. So here you can see we have brainstorming, we have problem solving, design and research, strategy. So we have these amazing templates that you can use. For example, I select problem solving and here I select this cause and effect diagram and I will use this template. So now you can share it with your friends and they can also work on this template. You can also do two different operations at same time on this tablet. For example, I open my gallery and I like this image. So I will press and hold it like this and now you can see I can drag anywhere on my screen. Now with my other finger, I can go back to home screen and then I can also use other apps. For example, I want to drag this image into my notes. So I will open the Samsung notes and I can easily drag it here like that. You can also copy any text from your books into your clipboard. For example, I want to copy this text. I will use my S Pen and I will start selecting it. For example, I will select till here. Now I want to copy it to my clipboard. I select this option of copy. Now, for example, I will close this app and now I will take out this edge panel. And now if I scroll to this side, here is my clipboard and you can see the text is now available here in the clipboard. If you want to use this text, you can also do it. Just open the Samsung notes and then for example, you want to drag this text into your notes, use your S Pen, you can easily drag it into your notes. So guys, this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.